Good afternoon. Welcome to the 2024 GNAC Basketball Championships hosted at Central Washington University. Sean Wally and Dustin Daniel with you. Thank you for joining us as we begin the men's quarterfinals. First matchup here in the men's quarterfinals, Alaska Anchorage and St. Martin's. Getting set to do battle. Alaska Anchorage, the six seed. St. Martin's, the three seed. St. Martin's will be in their home white uniforms, red trim. Alaska Anchorage, black uniforms, and yellow trim. Interesting, Dustin, how St. Martin's has the better conference record and the three seed, but Anchorage swept the series. Sometimes it just seems it works out that way that, you know, you can be the better ball club on paper by overall record, but the matchup, something about the matchup just does not go your way, and this seems to be one of those for St. Martins. They do not match up well against Alaska Anchorage. And it's going to be even tougher for St. Martins this evening, especially down low. No big Shaquem Alcinder, the 6'8 center. Injured his shoulder in practice a few days ago. Yeah, that's going to be a big loss for them. Uh, Alaska Anchorage already likes to play an exterior game. St. Martin's might have to come and try and match him now as they're missing their key center. Both these teams shoot really well, so we might see a barrage of three-pointers tonight, especially with the absence of the size of Alcindor for St. Martin's. And St. Martin's begins with the basketball. Skinny with it now. Ty Thompson out top. Marcel Stevens, Stokes to Thompson. Thompson thought about a three, instead finds Kyle Greeley. Greeley, a long two. Two nothing, St. Martin's early. Yeah, that's gonna be one to watch in this game. What kind of offensive output will Kyle Greeley be able to come up with? Gilbert out top. Satchel guarded by Skinny. Satchel picks up the dribble. Down low with 10 to shoot. Backing in. That's Lentfer. Gets it to go from five to all. The 6 7 frame of Lentfer bodying into the 6 8 frame of Stokes. That'll be an interesting battle. See what kind of physicality we can see in the post. 2 2 tie. Just over a minute gone by. 2 20 minute halves in men's college basketball. A long two from Tyke Thompson for two Saints. Of course, Alaska Anchorage co coached by Rusty Osborne in his 19th season at the helm. 18-35 and counting, 4-2 St. Martins. Gilbert with seven to shoot. Off a screen, throws it away. Thompson and the Saints on the run. They have numbers. Stokes, Saints slow it down. Greeley out top. To Stokes. Stokes stumbles. Alaska wanted to travel. Don't get it, but there's a turnover anyway. Yeah, a little bit of miscommunication there between Thompson and Greeley as he was backing away through directly to a, to a defender. Out top to Barrientos. His three. No. Rebound to Storms. Lentford. Another three on the way. Gilbert this time connects. First lead for the Seawolves. It's 5-4. We can expect a lot of that three-point shooting coming down the stretch. Alaska Anchorage is going to rely on that exterior game. Greeley from the right, right block picks up the dribble. Wants a foul. Didn't get it. Lentfer the rebound. Barrientos top of the key to Storms. His three. Off back iron. Gilbert, another three in front of the Saints bench. Two for two now. Back-to-back -back threes for Tyson Gilbert. 8-4, Seawolves. Kyle Greeley, left-hand dribble in the paint. From about 10 feet, gets the floater. 8-6, Seawolves by two. Nice pass. And going baseline, Satchel gets on the board. It's 10 6 Seawolves. St 
Stokes into the lane. The jumper from about seven, no. Rebound in the hands of Sloan Lentford. Storms behind the back dribble. Picks it up. Gilbert, another three. That's off back iron. Stevens to Skinny. His three, high arcing and short. Storms the rebound. Tempo still keeping up. This has been a fast-paced start to this basketball game. Four minutes gone by. Half number one here in Ellensburg, Washington. 10-6 Seawolves. Barrientos, the step back from the left elbow. 12-6, Seawolves have doubled up the Saints. Skinny to Greeley. A long three from Stevens. That caroms off the back of the room. 15.30 left, half number one. Nicholson Arena, Central Washington University. Storms top. Stokes nearly gets the ball stolen. Hot potato for a hot minute. Greeley the other way. Stokes for three. 12 9 Two Wolves. Uh, it's a good session on both ends there for Stokes. He helps create that steal with the knockaway and then finishes it with a three from up top on the other end. Satchel, right side of the lane, turns back center, fade away, won't go. Rebound to Thompson. Thompson stops, thought about the three. Instead, stepping on the sideline is Marcel Stevens. 14.47 left, first half. Seawolves 12, Saints 9. Back after this on GNAC.TV. Back after the timeout, 12-9, Seawolves in the lead, and they have the basketball. Good ball movement by the Seawolves. 15 to shoot. Williams thought about the jumper. No, he finds his teammate under the basket, but the shot won't go. Offensive rebound to the Seawolves. Gilbert's jumper, that's off. Ball volleyed about and out of bounds. Last touched by the Seawolves. Both teams shooting fairly effectively so far. St. Martin's 50% from the field coming out of that timeout. Alaska Anchorage, a little bit better than that at 55.6. So both teams finding solid shots and making the best of them when they're putting something in the air. Hansen into the game for St. Martin's, finds Stokes. Stokes spun baseline, had it stripped. He recovers out to Skinny. Skinny off the screen from Stokes. Seven to shoot. That pass knocked away. And over and back is called. It's got to be because no possession change, even though it was tipped. 
What, no, so I think what they're saying is he reclaimed possession of the basketball while he was still in the front court and then moved into the back court. At, because, there, I mean, there was clearly tipped by, by Alaska Anchorage. Right. So it, it wasn't a change of possession or anything like that, but the defense tipped into the backcourt. I think what they're saying is he reclaimed possession before going into the backcourt. Williams missing badly on the three. The ball will go back to St. Martin's. 13-34 left first half. 12-9. Seawolves over the Saints. Sean Wally, Dustin Daniel with you from Ellensburg, Washington. Central Washington University. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday late afternoon. First of two men's games tonight in quarterfinal action here in the 2024 GNAC Basketball Championships. Good ball movement by St. Martins. Out top, it's Skinny. Driving the left side of the lane using the glass. Nielsen Skinner, the bucket. Great speed to get to the hoop there. Just flat out beat his defender to the rim and had the easy layup. Jerron Williams now. Evans with Skinny on him. To Storms, nine to shoot. Williams has it back now. Satchel can't find the bucket. Offensive rebound to Storms. He goes up strong, swatted. Ball loose, now picked up by the Saints. Off and running, Samuels gets it to go. Now a gutsy choice there. They got three on two in transition coming the other way. An opportunity to pass the ball around and find a little bit more of an open shot, but Miles Samuel just powers through and makes the best of what he had. 13-12 Saints back in front. St. Martins. Williams, the jumper from the left elbow. Short. Greeley, the one-arm strong man rebound. Baseline floater is good from Caden Hansen. 15-12 Saints. They've gone on a run. Yeah, you know, we're seeing SMU really want to run a faster tempo game than Alaska Anchorage. Seawolves will slow it down. You know, they'll set their offense. St. Martin's, they're moving in transition every time. They want to get numbers and then try and exploit that to get an easy bucket. Three in the corner is short. The miss by Satchel. Back comes Hansen and the Saints. That's going to be a block on the Seawolves. That foul on Storms. 11.41 left in the first half. St. Martin's 15, Alaska Anchorage 12. Back after this on GNAC.TV. Fifteen, twelve, St. Martin's, 11.41 left, first half. Sean Wally with Dustin Daniel. As Moore gets set to inbound directly in front of us here at the scorer's table on the visitor's end of the bench. Saints basketball. They lead by three. Going up strong with a floater. Miles Samuels, 17-12, Saints. Barrientos, left side of the lane. Gilbert, nowhere to go. Finds Williams, his shot short. Greeley comes down with it. 
Saints by five with the ball. Skinny has it in the corner. Into the lane. Nice hands by the defense there. Gilbert got his arm in the way. It'll be Saints basketball. 10.57 left first half. Moore received the inbound, hands to Skinny. Skinny directing traffic, six to shoot. Three balls good by Miles Samuels. He's heating up, that's seven on the late afternoon. 20 to 12, St. Martins. Good hands there by Hanson, pokes it away. Seawolf basketball, they trail by eight. You know, one of the benefits of not having Shaquem in this game, you're going a little bit smaller, a little bit faster, so you can play that quick transition game. They've uh, they've really utilized that a lot. That last play for the, the angle three, one of very few set plays we've seen St. Martin's run so far, but the tempo they're running seems to be working. Lentford back in for the Seawolves. Five to shoot. Barrientos to Larson. Larson with one on the shot clock. Way to use the baseline to his advantage. 20-14 Saints. Now we have a steal. Gilbert has it. Gilbert across half court. Three on the way from Larson. And a foul is called. It'll be three shots as Nielsen Skinner bumped into Larson. Yeah, good self-awareness by Larson on that last trip down the floor. Knew exactly where the shot clock was at. Found an opportunity and he was able to get something off before the shot clock ran out. And not only that, got it to go. Important free throws for the Seawolves. They're down six, now down five after the first one made. They can cut the lead in half. <laughs> Thompson back in for St. Martin's. Nielsen Skinner takes a seat. Two of three free throws made. 2016 St. Martin's, they have the basketball. Hanson at point now with Skinny on the bench. Good ball movement, Greeley for three, a knuckleball. Didn't have much rotation. Rebound, tapped out of bounds, it'll be Seawolf ball. Nine forty-two and counting here in the first half. Two twenty-minute halves in men's college basketball. Barrientos to Larson picks up his dribble. Gilbert shake bake the shot from sixteen. No. Hanson the other way doesn't have numbers. Has to pick up the dribble. Tyke Thompson for three. Good rotation and it rims out. Gilbert, Barrientos across half court now. Yeah, quite a lot of distance between Thompson and the arc on that shot. Takes a deep three, but like the confidence to not hesitate on pulling the trigger on that shot. Foul on Caden Hansen of St. Martin's. His first, just the second team foul for St. Martin's in the half. Barrientos to Gilbert. Gilbert from the right elbow. Larson swings it to Williams. Five to shoot. Larson in the corner for three. Offensive rebounds. Lentford back out top now. Barrientos, his three is good. Seawolves within one. Anchorage taking advantage of a second chance they swing it out to Barrientos, who has a wide open three and does not miss. Thompson to Moore. Moore, Greeley in the corner, his three, rims off. Battle for the basketball. Gilbert has it for the Seawolves. They look to take the lead. 8-10 and counting first half here in Ellensburg. Move it, move it. 
Williams swings it to Larson in the corner. Lentford double teamed by the Saints. Gilbert the touch pass to Williams for three. 22-20, the Seawolves come all the way back and take the lead. Timeout, St. Martin, 7.51 left. 22-20, Seawolves, back after this on GNAC.TV. Seven fifty-one left. First half here in Allensburg. Sean Wally, Dustin Daniel, along, alongside for the ride. Twenty-two twenty. Sea Wolves. Saints look to answer. Strong drive on the right side by Jay Sean Moore. We're nodded at deuces. Barrientos with it. 7.20 left, first half. Gilbert for three. They make it look easy when they go in. Yeah, both of these sides have really not had any trouble finding their rhythm shooting. Hasn't turned into that high score of a game so far, but certainly good effect on this both sides. What a job by Gilbert on defense blocking that shot from Thompson. It's 25-22 Seawolves inside seven minutes. Left here, first half. Barrientos with Stokes on him. Eight to shoot. Barrientos trying to use his speed on Stokes. The step back jumper rattles home. 27 22 Seawolves. Barrientos does a great job of creating his own space. Hanson the miss. Nice job by Stokes to tap it out. Thompson recovers. Thought about the three. Gives it to Stokes. It gets it right back. Thompson from the free throw line. Too many steps. Traveling. Yeah, there's an opportunity for that call a few seconds before. It was like the second time he had walked in that sequence. But uh, Thompson just getting a little bit ahead of himself in his, uh, in his uh, physical momentum. <laughs> Storms checks back in for the Seawolves. He inbounds to Barrientos. As Rusty Osborne calls out the offensive set. 6-10 left. Seawolves by five. Storms hands off to Gilbert. Storms gets it back. Fakes the three. Inside of six minutes left in half number one. Nicholson Arena. Barrientos for three. Good rotation, but it's short. Rebound to Stokes. Tag Thompson out top now to Hanson. Hanson back near half court. Hanson to Thompson. 12 to shoot. It's the Thompson and Hanson game here for the Saints. Into the lane. 
Wants the foul, doesn't get it, hits the deck, rebound to Gilbert. Back come the Seawolves with a five point lead. St. Martin's having a lot of trouble finding buckets right now. Anchorage on a 15 to two run, SMU, not that uh, unrecently from now, led by 10. Very nice give and go. Gilbert gets fouled. He will head to the free throw line for two shots. Hanson picks up his second foul. Gilbert has nine points. He averages 14.9 per game. And there's 10 double digits with 5.09 left in half number one. Saints look to end their scoring drought. Inside five minutes left, first half. Stokes to Thompson. Right back to Stokes. Ball poked out of bounds. It'll stay with St. Martin's. Yeah, scoreless drought now at about three minutes for St. Martin's. One for seven on their last seven field goal attempts. One for five from three during that time. You might be able to hear Saints head coach Aaron Landon at the other end of the table giving orders to his squad and Hanson for three. Perfect. 28-25, Seawolves. Yeah, just what the doctor ordered, trying to find their footing. Been a while since they got a three-pointer to go. And just back to a one-possession game. 4.25 left, first half. Storms. Storms gets it back, spins baseline. Ball poked in the air. Falls right to Satchel. He goes up with it. Rattles home. 30-25 Seawolves. Yeah, friendly bounce on that floater. Looked like he could easily have rattled off, but he got it to go. You talk about this Saints drought. No Kyle Greeley on the floor. No Nielsen Skinner. And Stokes hits the floater from the baseline. 30-27. Three thirty-five left here in the first half. Storms out top to Gilbert. Lent for now, looking for Storms. Ball tapped, poked away. Rusty Osborne not happy with that play. Three on the way for St. Martin's. Miles Samuels connects, ties the ball game at thirty. Gamer runs, gamer runs, and St. Martin's back on one now. Both these teams have held some chunky leads. See what happens to close out the first half. 316 left in the first half. All knotted at 30 Saints and Seawolves on GNAC.tv.
Marcel Stevens. 316 left here in the first half. We're tied at 30. Sean Wally with Dustin Daniel. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday. First game of men's quarterfinal action. We've already had two women's games today. We'll have a second men's game at 7.30 this evening. Inside three minutes now. Satchel going up strong with the right hand off window and in. What a shot. Yeah, that was just pure will. Defender in his way. Not a great angle, but he made it happen. Stokes trying to be a one-man wrecking crew. His shot short. Nielsen, Skinner, Greeley, and Stevens all back in for the Saints. 2.30 left here in the first half. Seawolves with the ball up by two. Williams from the baseline gets it to fall. 34-30 Seawolves. With that floater, that's seven of the last eight from the field for Anchorage. That's pretty good. It's a winning combination. Really hard to lose games if you're going to shoot at that kind of rate. Stevens, right side of the lane, traveling is called. Saw that foot slide. And it's worth noting, at that last time out, we heard and saw firsthand head coach Rusty Osborne for Alaska Anchorage just let his team have it and tell them, you know, very simply, you can't make mistakes. You feed into what they do, and they being St. Martin's, you feed the monster by not hitting shots and turning the ball over. Yep. Coaches are faced with this kind of decision constantly throughout basketball games. What do you need to do? What, what do you need as far as reaction from your team to get the response that you need on the floor? He chose, chooses to get in their face, really call for a wake up. I think it's working. Williams for three, it's a 7-0 run since we were tied at 30. Final 90 seconds of the first half. Can the Saints answer? Stokes outside to Greeley. Greeley just four points here in the first half. Nielsen Skinner only has two. Four to shoot. Greeley strong into the lane. The fade away with one on the shot clock short. Seawolves rebound in the hands of Barrientos. Final minute of the first half. Seawolves by seven with the ball. When was it 30-30? A minute ago? Very, very In game recently. time? Yeah. Yeah, Anchorage has really picked up their pace. Five to shoot. Barrientos out near half court. He's going to have to let one fly. Off a screen, he shoots for three. Short. Greeley fought for the rebound. It was tapped out by Storms. It'll be Saints ball. Three and a half second differential game and shot clock 33.4 left in the half. Yeah, a lot of body there from Sawyer Storms as he comes flying in, trying to fight for an offensive rebound. Gets lucky to not pick up his second foul in that scenario. Tyke Thompson returns for the Saints. Inbounds to Skinny. Seawolves coaches say no freeze. So apparently they're going to guard against the three-pointer. Nielsen Skinner to Stevens. Skinny gets it back. Skinny driving the left side of the lane. Contact and a foul. Nielsen Skinner will head to the free throw line. That foul being called on Tyson Gilbert of Anchorage. That's a tough foul too. Looked like he took a, a hand to the face. Really hard to finish in that scenario. I think he got you know, inadvertent nonetheless, but still a slap to the face in that spot. Really hard to finish when you uh, got a hand like that. Nielsen Skinner misses the first. Averaging 8.8 .8 points per game. Thirty-three steals on the season for Skinny. Second free throw. That rattles out. Still a seven-point lead for the Seawolves. They'll go to the locker room most likely no worse than up seven. That shot clock turned off. They can hold for the last one. Final five seconds of the half. Barrientos to Gilbert. Two on the game clock. Gilbert, an off-balance three. Looks good, but it's just short. 
And that is how the first 20 minutes of play ends here in Ellensburg. Seawolves 37, Saints 30. Halftime, quarterfinal game number one. Quick thoughts on the first half. Uh, tempo from St. Martin's went away a little bit at the end of that first half, and as a result, so did their lead. Uh, they need to really pressure Alaska Anchorage. Uh, on the other side of that, Seawolves are looking good. Efficiency from the floor, if they can continue to shoot at this kind of tempo and pace, and with this kind of efficiency, it's going to be a good game for the Seawolves. All right, halftime here in Ellensburg. Seawolves 37, Saints 30. Refill your beverage, grab some dinner. We'll be back in about 10 to 12 minutes and get you going for the second half on GNAC.TV.
back here inside Nicholson Arena on the campus of Central Washington University. Sean Wally with Dustin Daniel as we get set for half number two. First men's quarterfinal game of the day. After 20 minutes of play, Alaska Anchorage aiming for the upset, the six versus three. They lead at 37-30 over St. Martin's. Yeah, no, there's a couple interesting things in this game. Both teams have held multi-possession leads. St. Martin's look to be taking a lot of the momentum partway through that first half. Then all of a sudden, Alaska Anchorage goes on this huge run. Despite being down by seven, St. Martin's shooting over 50% from field goal range. Uh, they're at 52 percent four of ten from three only 46 percent on their field goal percentage right now for alaska anchorage big thing right now second chance opportunities five offensive rebounds in the first half for the sea wolves only one for st martin's they need to do a little bit better job of crashing those offensive boards and creating more opportunities if they're able to do that this is going to be a very competitive game down the stretch leading scores for each side who we got Ten points right now for Gilbert for the Sea Wolves. He is one of two players in double figures. The others, Miles Samuels on the other side for St. Martin's. He has been perfect from the field. Four of four and two for two from three-point range. Part, big part of that 52% field goal percentage right now for the Saints. Seven-point lead for the sixth seed, looking to extend their season. Of course, when you're the sixth seed, if you don't win the tournament, you're not going to play in the NCAA tournament, most likely. Yeah, three wins here for Alaska Anchorage is their route to the West Region tourney. Seawolves begin with the basketball. Gilbert. Barrientos. Storms now. Back outside, Barrientos off the screen from Storms. Barrientos, a little bit of a push off. Step back three. Oh, too much of a step back. You know, he's done a good job of creating his own space for these shots. And up until that shot, he's been very effective once he's created a step or two. That one just didn't have the touch. Saints down seven. It's a 7-0 Seawolves run. Goes back to the first half. We were tied at 30 at one point. Thompson to skinny. Skinny baseline under the basket. Thompson. Greeley now, six to shoot. Greeley strong from about 12, gets it to fall. 37-32 Seawolves. One minute gone by here in half number two. Barrientos storms. Satchel from the left elbow, now backs up. Fires from three. He makes that look easy. Yeah, step back three like that. If it's that automatic, man, you can't give that guy any space. Eight-point lead. Saints try to answer a three of their own from Marcel Stevens. 40-35 Seawolves. Saints, the better record, the higher seed. They are the number three seed, and the Seawolves throw it away. And Rusty Osborne is fired up, takes a timeout. Not happy with that turnover. 40-35 Seawolves back in a GIF on GNAC.TV.
out of the timeout. It'll be St. Martin's ball after the turnover. I tell you, Rusty Osborne's team's up five, but you wouldn't know it from his antics at uh, timeout time. Yeah, he wants more out of them. He knows that a couple of things going their way that just were mental mistakes. This could be a 12, 13 point game, and he wants to push them. Greeley in the lane. High floater gets the roll, 40-37 Seawolves. And, and you know, on that note, you got to imagine that there's just a level of intensity from these coaches that, you know, let's say this is second week of conference games during the regular season, wouldn't probably wouldn't be as hyped up, but it's do or die time. Absolutely, put up or shut up, nice pass down low. The block from behind, Stokes. Barrientos from the free throw line, no, that rims out. Thompson the rebound. Tyke for three. Tie ball game. We were tied at 30. We're tied at 40. Barrientos to Gilbert. Barrientos guarded by Nielsen Skinner. Storms to Barrientos. In the corner, open is Satchel. His three. Trading threes, 43-40, Seawolves. That's now 12 points in the game for Dathan Satchel. Leads all scores. Second made three for him. Ball out of bounds. It'll go back to the Seawolves. You know, it was a good day for the Seawolves women's basketball team. They advanced. So far, so good for the men's basketball team. Yeah, very comfortably at that for the number three seeded women's Seawolves as they take down a 79-57 win over Seattle Pacific in game number one of our day. Satchel, another three. Threes are starting to fall, 46-40 Seawolves. Skinny, the nice pass to Thompson. Loses the handle momentarily on the baseline. Can't get the point blank shot to fall. 16-08 and, and counting. Very toast to Storms. Storms. Gilbert. Back to Storms out top. Guarded by Thompson. Cross court, Storms has it now, out top, his three. 49-40, a 9-0 barrage of three-point run. And how about this, we just see the SMU run. The last game, Bridge immediately responds, just more of the same as the first half, very streaky game. Nielsen Skinner, left side of the lane, nobody picks him up. Rusty Osborne just drops his head into his hands. Gotta have help side, stop the penetration. 49-42, Seawolves. Storms in the paint, nowhere to go. Barrientos didn't pull the trigger. Gilbert was the first one to double digits. He's still at 10 points. Barrientos with four on the shot clock. The step back three, too strong. Thompson the rebound for the Saints. Greeley in the corner for three. Awkward rotation. Ball loose. Seawolves have it. Up seven, 14-40 to play. Yeah, almost a knuckleball off the hands. Uh, didn't, didn't have a lot of spin to it and uh, did take a weird carom. Satchel to Gilbert. Gilbert, right side of the lane now, steps back. Satchel. Inside it's Lenfer. Lenfer working on Stokes. Goes up strong off glass and in. 51-42, a quick 11-2 run. Well, these timeouts that Rusty Osborne's been taking have been effective. Seawolves have managed to respond well to his input. A block is called on the Kyle Greeley bucket. Bucket is good. 14.05 left, Seawolves 51, Saints 44. Timeout on the floor, back after this on GNAC.TV.
Back here inside Nicholson Arena, Sean Wally, Dustin Daniel. Thank you for tuning in on this Thursday. Heading to the line for a potential three-point play. Kyle Greeley of St. Martin's. He now has 10 points on the afternoon. 51-44 Seawolves win or go home in this GNAC tournament. Greeley misses the free throw, but the rebound's tracked down by Moore. 14 minutes left in somebody's season. Nielsen Skinner directing traffic off the screen for Moore. Explodes to the left side of the lane. Shot won't go. Greeley has the rebound, and he is fouled. First foul on Satchel. Second team foul on the Seawolves. Skinny into Thompson for three in front of his own bench. That's short. Rebound to Storms and the Seawolves. Storms with Thompson on him. Good ball movement open is Larson. His three rattles off. Battle for the basketball. Tyke Thompson has it. 51-44 Seawolves. Skinny, the bounce pass to Han Hansen. His shot won't go. That's a tough shot. Fade away from the baseline like that. Really, really low percentage shot if you don't have your balance. Gilbert slowly backs up toward midcourt. Now kicks it outside. Williams for three. Ball loose. Tyke Thompson comes away with it. Saints have numbers. Hansen for three in the corner. 51-47. Saints within four. Gilbert guarded by Skinny. Jerron Williams now. Williams picks up the dribble. Gilbert slashing to the hole. What a move and find by Williams. Nice job by Gilbert. 12 points on the evening. Skinny trying to get fancy going for the alley-oop to Tyke Thompson. You're down six. Not sure that's the play Aaron Landon wanted. Yeah, and good read there by Gilbert. He was the middle defender on that. He decided to follow in double underneath on Tyke Thompson. And it worked out because they, they throw him an alley-oop and when you're Double teamed on alley oftentimes not going to work out. Hanson to inbounds. Gets it to Thompson. Hands back to Hanson for three. Off the front rim. Rebound to Harrington into the game for the Seawolves. Twelve minutes left in this one. 53-47 Seawolves. They have the ball. Harrington didn't pull the trigger when he was open from three. He will now. Good rotation. And his first bucket of the game is a three-pointer, 56-47 Seawolves. A couple extra passes, gets the same look from the same spot, just a little bit more open, and he buries it. Ty Thompson, what a size advantage, and he just uses that to his advantage, but he hits the deck hard, doesn't hit the shot. And Tyke is going to be hurting getting up. I think he landed on his left arm there. And all his body weight going on, down on that. That's a tough spot to be in. The Saints already had a shoulder injury earlier this week. Shaquem Alcindor is out. And now Thompson's still down. So while they tend to Thompson, will step aside. 56-47 Seawolves, 11-27 left on GMAC.TV.
11.27 left. Seawolves up 50, 56 47. Sean Wally alongside Dustin Daniel filling in wonderfully for Robert Lowry. Definitely probably tough for Lowry not to be here since he's Ellensburg born, bred, raised through and through. Used to work at Central. Done this tournament for many years. We've both worked with him at different times. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's an all-timer here at Central. Got his name on the press box over the football stadium, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's been a pleasure to work with Rob. Uh, the, the one time, the one time I, I got the opportunity. So he has missed this week. You know, this... Nicholson Arena's so new, so modern. Robert probably wouldn't know what to do and with everything so nice and fancy now. He wouldn't recognize it, that's for sure. 56-48 after the free throws. Tyke Thompson did get up, walk off under his own power, and he's still in the game, has the basketball right now. Hansen off the screen. Hansen to Thompson. His jumper from the baseline short. Skying for the rebound is Moore. Bodies on the floor. I think that's going to be a loose ball foul on Jay Sean Moore. They're coming over the top, going for the offensive board. But that's also the tenacity that St. Martin's needs right now. We talked about them crashing the offensive boards. They've been a little bit better on that. They're out uh, rebounding offensively. Alaska anchors three to one in the second half. 10.50 and counting here, second half. Seawolves the ball up 56-48. Exploding to the rim with the quickness is Barrientos, but can't get the roll. Saints the other way. Kyle Greeley going strong. Left side of the hoop on the baseline, 56-50. Saints within six. Harrington with it. Slight press applied by the Saints. Barrientos now. 10 10 left in this one. Larson has it. Six to shoot. Larson a push off. Aaron Landon wanted the call, didn't get it. And a foul on the floor. Saints coach Aaron Landon hot at the officials not calling that forearm push. Coaching staff for the Saints, Aaron Landon in his fourth year. Associate head coach Tyler Velasquez, assistant coaches Wesley Reynolds and former player Brandon Bunn. Nice job by Stokes, swatting that ball away. Saints on the run. Moore to the rack, lays it up and in. Jay Sean Moore, it's 56-52. Saints within four. Yeah, SMU has been very fortunate the last few head coaches they've had. Aaron doing a great job taking over for Alex Pribble, who is now the uh, head coach Idaho. at Idaho. Yeah, just taking, uh, taking that on this year. But, uh, man, SMU has been, been absolutely blessed these last two head coaches they've had. A lot of GNAC ties in Idaho. Alex Pribble. Ryan Looney. Uh, assistant coach David Dunham. You've got D'Angelo Minnis, former Washington, Western Washington Viking on that squad now. 59-54, another bucket for more. Looney over at Ohio State with the head job after being at Seattle Pacific a couple stops ago. Three on the way for Jerron Williams. 62-54 Seawolves. Hansen, nobody picks him up. And he is bumped and fouled. That should be on Caleb Larson of the Seawolves, and it is. That is his first, fourth team foul. Look at the team fouls. Four for the Seawolves, only one for St. Martin's. Foul shots could come into play down the stretch. Yeah, a long way to go to get to one and one with just 8.48 left. So the Saints... You know, have a little flexibility here to perhaps be more physical. Satchel checking back into the game for the Seawolves. He's got 15 in this one on 6-9 shooting. 
This is his highest scoring game he has had since he dropped a season high 24 back in the middle of January. Did that against NNU. 62-54, Seawolves in the lead, have the ball, 840 left. Win, you punch your ticket to tomorrow. Lose, your season is over. Gilbert only has two points in this half. He has 12 on the evening. He wants more. Now 14. Automatic, automatic, great shot. Samuels. Gets it back from Stokes. Ten point game. Sense of urgency has to be forthcoming, if not already there for St. Martin's with eight minutes left. Well, see Wolf starting to transition, slow their tempo down a little bit. They want to eat up some clock. Storms cross to Williams. Nice defense by Hansen. Gilbert recovers. Four to shoot. He's trapped on the baseline. Outside Barrientos with one. He gets off a three. Good rotation. Off the back rim, but the offensive rebound to the Seawolves. Gilbert, his three. No. Another offensive rebound. Attacking the rack is Jerron Williams, and he will head to the line. Offensive board after offensive board. That's a good recipe if you're Alaska Anchorage. The second chance opportunity has been huge in this game for the Seawolves. Satchel does go down. It looks like he hurts his left knee on that play. Fortunately, he does hop up quickly, but a little concerned there. 7.23 left. Timeout on the floor. Seawolves 64, Saints 54. Back after this on GNAC.TV. Back inside Nicholson Arena, Sean Wally alongside Dustin Daniel. Williams to the line after the timeout. 7.23 left, the second half. 64-54 Seawolves make it 65-54 over the Saints. Your obscure stat for the game, Alaska Anchorage, 13 made threes in this game. When they make 10 or more three-pointers in a game this season, undefeated 13-0. They're hoping to make it 14-0, and, and they're up 12 with 7.20 and counting left in this one. Saints going strong inside. That's Moore. He gets it to fall, 66-56, and he's got to pick up some slack because Shaquem Alcindor in the two games against Alaska Anchorage had scored 21 points. So his presence is missed, his rebounding, his block shot ability. Yeah, it's, it's definitely showing in the rebounding margin right now. It's only five, but on the offensive rebounds, eight to four, that's a big differential. Storms can't convert, but he is fouled. 6.39 remaining. A lot of players hitting the deck hard. Slow to get up. 
foul will be on Samuels of St. Martin's. Sawyer storms to the line for the Seawolves. A 6'7 senior from Idaho Falls, Idaho. Sawyer Storms has been all over the college basketball realm. Played at the College of Southern Idaho, Chaminade, and now Alaska Anchorage. I'd have to say, Chaminade probably the best views. Hawaii. I, I would say so. Uh, you know, Great views in Alaska, too. Just different. Having had the chance to go down to West Regionals and Point Loma, today, yes. there are some great views on that campus. Would love to watch a baseball game there. Have not seen one yet. But uh, love going down to that Point Loma campus. Ironically, I was a part of a Saints broadcast down there in 2019 when they went to the West Region Final against Point Loma. Yeah, watch press, watch press. Amazing campus. How do you not enjoy school down there? What a fun SMU team that was, too. Luke Chavez's run with the Saints. Just a blast to watch. The aforementioned head coach, Alex Pribble. Now at Idaho. Kyle Greeley at the line. 67-58. Seawolves in the lead. 6-20 left in the Saints season unless they can mount a comeback. Still plenty of time. Only down nine. Variantos to Williams. Williams has 16 tonight. Looking for 18. Gets it. Williams has a quiet 18, doesn't he? You know, yeah. You know, Barry Entos is one of those guys that's taking up shots. You think he might be up there, but Williams just kind of comes out of nowhere. He's just been so efficient with his shots that it's just boosted up so quick. Stokes, strong in the paint. No. Ball batted outside. A race for it. Kyle Greeley has it. Now it's out of bounds. Apparently tapped out by the Seawolves. 11-point lead for Alaska Anchorage. Hansen with 15 on the shot clock. Out top to Greeley. Stokes back to Greeley. Nine to shoot. Greeley the strong drive off glass and in. He hits the deck. No whistle. 69-60. Got to follow it up with a stop here. Five and a half minutes under that now in this ball game. Saints really need a stop and another hoop. Seawolves happy to use clock. Time is on their side right now. Dariantos. Gilbert, left side of the lane. Shot partially blocked. Offensive rebound again to the Seawolves. A three rattles out. Another offensive rebound to Alaska Anchorage. Driving head coach Aaron Landon crazy on the Saints sideline. Dariantos into the lane. A charge is called. Stokes held his position, but Alaska Anchors doesn't agree. He thinks he was inside the circle. Huge possession there. Alaska Anchorage gets opportunity after opportunity to just continue to crash those offensive boards. Had to have that kind of a turnover. Cannot give up a bucket, which would put them back down by 11. Then all of a sudden you're looking at 442 left in the game. Really need to come down the court and get a bucket here. Find a way to get the ball away from the Seawolves early on in their shot clock going forward. Another player down. That is Barrientos, I believe, hasn't got up off the floor. So while he gets 10 to 2, we'll step aside back after this on GNAC.TV. Important possession for St. Martins as play resumes. 4.38 and counting. They trail by nine with the basketball. Hansen off the screen for Moore. Picks it up. Nowhere to go. Finds Samuels. 
Right baseline and an offensive foul. He lowers his shoulder into Caleb Larson, knocking him to the deck. Well, we got charges on back-to-back -back possessions here. Alaska Anchorage certainly going to move it on the outside here, try and eat up some more time, perhaps even get this under four minutes left. They got a nine-point advantage. All they need to do is hit some shots and eat up some clock. Gilbert to Storms. 420 left. Who plays tomorrow? Who goes home? Saints wanted to travel, don't get it. Is crazy play. Satchel runs into Larson, knocking him over. Official says the ball was bobbled, so no travel. Three to shoot. Gilbert to the left side of the lane. Can't get it to fall. Inside four minutes left. Saints with the ball down nine. Greeley in the corner. Hanson for three, and that was needed. Big shot. All of a sudden, two possession ball game. It's not desperation time yet for St. Martin's, but they have to move with a very certain purpose. 69-63. Seawolves in the lead. 3.30 left. You can hear the chance of defense by the Saints bench and their fans that made it here to Central Washington University. 3.20 and counting. High off the window is Larson. Can't get it to go. Thompson had the rebounds, but he's out of bounds on the baseline. 314 remaining in somebody's season. Seawolf 69, Saints 63. Back after this on GNAC.TV. Back inside Nicholson Arena on the campus of Central Washington University, Sean Wally and Dustin Daniel. 314 left. Seawolves a six-point advantage, 69-63. How has this all come about to this point? You know, there's so many things we can point to here. SMU playing a lot quicker transition game. Alaska Anchorage has been super efficient from three-point range, making 13 three-pointers at this point, one off of their season high. Perhaps one of the biggest ones. Second chance points, Seawolves 11, Saints 2. And it all adds up to a six point Seawolf advantage thus far. Foul on the Saints on the floor. Seawolves inbound from the side. 305 left. Saints need a stop, down six. Storms to Williams. Gilbert going baseline. Saints want the offensive foul call and the push off. They don't get it, but the ball shot is missed. More of the rebound, and he's fouled. Foul on Satchel, his second. Well, this is exactly what the Saints need. Get a stoppage of the clock. Get a chance to get some points to the line. SMU will take this all day. Moore, only a 67% free throw shooter, but he gets that one. Five-point ball game. This might get interesting. 
final 249. 67% free throw shooter, 100% right there. A couple big free throws. All of a sudden, a stop and a bucket. It's a one possession game. Tone of this game changing very quickly down the stretch. 240 and counting. Sea Wolves happy to use clock, but their head coach, Rusty Osborne, telling them to go. 15 on the shot clock. Barrientos behind the back dribble, guarded by Greeley. Gilbert stops to Williams. Five to shoot. Williams goes baseline under the hoop, and he is fouled. Shot won't go. Jaron Williams having a really nice game so far. 18 so far in this game. Going to go to the line for a couple more. That is a GNAC career high for him in his time in the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. He's looking to get to 20 for the first time in a Seawolves uniform. First free throw. Good. Williams averages 9.7. He has 19 with that free throw. Second free throw, good. Back to a six point lead for the Seawolves, 220 and counting. Skinny, back in the ball game. Greeley from the free throw line, the up and under, gets it to fall. 71 67. Saints down four. Not sure what the whistle was for. I think we just lost the ball on the baseline and uh, had to reset. I don't think there was a delay of game warning, anything like that. Look at Williams going coast to coast. Can't get it to go. Moore the rebound. Ahead to Samuels. His layup won't go. Moore the rebound. Going back up strong. That won't go. And finally a whistle. Greeley taps it in. It will not count. The foul on Tyson Gilbert. This is second foul for Gilbert. St. Martin's bench going crazy. They wanted goaltending there as Gilbert did get up above the rim. Question is, did he touch it when it was inside of the cylinder? We saw Moore just hit two free throws. He's coming up clutch, especially when he's only shooting 67% from the line. That's three of three. Speaking of three, it's a three-point game. Yeah, this is coming down to who's going to be the better free throw shooting team down the stretch. And who can make the least mistakes. No offensive fouls, no turnovers. You might win the ball game. Seawolves only up three. Wrong time to go cold if you're Anchorage. They're one for their last nine from the field. A couple of free throws have helped them out, though. Barrientos to Williams. Seven to shoot for the Seawolves. Four to shoot. Williams right side of the lane, spins to the rack, lays it up and in. 73-68. Rusty Osborne wanted a timeout. Official didn't notice. Skinny hands to more of the layup. Good. We're back to a one possession game, a minute 10 and counting. Got to have a stop if you're St. Martin. Fouls aren't going to do you that much good right now. Just want a clean stop. Still plenty of time, so you don't need to uh, commit the foul. 16 fouls for the Saints. Final minute, and Storms is left wide open. Rusty Osborne wants a foul, doesn't get it. Five-point lead for the Seawolves. Tyke Thompson thinking about the three. Skinny now. Back to Thompson. Thompson into the lane strong to Moore. And a blocking foul called on the Seawolves, and Rusty Osborne does not agree. Is that fair to say? <laughs> I, I think that is yeah, an understatement, perhaps. Uh, he has been uh, he has been very outspoken in this game as he's really trying to push his uh, team with the energy into the semifinals. Coach Osborne getting the explanation from the official that made the call saying that it was a charge. His player was moving forward into Thompson. And that's exactly the referee's point. You can't be moving into someone to get a charge. You have to be planted and still. Tag Thompson. Misses the second. Huge. 
42 seconds left in this game. It's a four point game. Trapped in backcourt is Gilbert. He picks up the dribble. And a timeout is called by Gilbert and the Seawolves. 36 seconds left, a four point game. What's gotta happen for the Saints to get back in it? Well, they gotta hit some free throws. Uh, this kind of snuck up on me. They are five of 14 at the line in this game. They have missed nine free throws. I so mean, you even in, add in half of that, and this is a tie ball game or the lead. Uh, so that, that has been huge. Uh, so you're saying that Moore at 67% on the season is their best free throw shooter today? That, that is what it would say. He's three of four at the line. As a team, they are shooting 35% at the free throw line. Uh, and, I, you know, they, they've scattered them out, so it kind of snuck up on me. But, uh, you know, even shooting 50% at the free throw line, you're concerned. But five of 14, especially in this close of a game, is is heartbreaking if, if you're the Saints. Just, just 36 seconds left in this one. Seawolves by four. It's been a valiant run the final two minutes by the Saints, but can they come all the way back? Winner faces Northwest Nazarene Friday at 5.15. Williams is fouled by Greeley. 30 seconds left. Loser, their season is over. <laughs> Williams hits the first, he'll get another. 76-71, Alaska Anchorage. Short on the free throw, Greeley the rebound. Do we have a lane violation? I believe that was a lane violation, yeah. On Anchorage. Five point ball game. Thompson into Nielsen Skinner. Skinny the quick two, looks short, it is. Rebound to Alaska Anchorage. Not what the Saints needed right there. SMU's got three timeouts to use if they want them. But it seems like they just want to push it. But that's something they've done all game. They want to use that tempo to their advantage. So they're holding on to those timeouts. Doesn't pan out there. Uh, and they really need uh, one miss of these free throws at the very least from Gilbert. Gilbert hits the first. Two possession ball game. Six point lead for the Seawolves. Their bench telling their players no threes, no threes. Gilbert, free throw, good. 78-71, 21.6 left. Possibly in the same season. Barring a fantastic finish. Down seven. Technically could still be a two possession game with a foul on a made three. Nielsen Skinner attacks the rack, wants the foul, doesn't get it. Greeley the putback, no. And that foul is going to be on the Seawolves on Sawyer Storms. Third foul on Storms. Kyle Greeley, 18 on the night. Possession arrow belongs to SMU right now, as well as the three timeouts. They have a couple of tools in the toolbox. They just really need to get a quick stop, maybe even a miss here and intentionally and see if they can turn it into a three. A lot of things need to happen. Handful of important seniors on this Saints roster. Lanker, Greeley, Stokes, Thompson. Might be seeing their final 12.7 seconds of college action. Delay of game warning on St. Martin's. Being on the baseline, not giving enough space for the inbound. Five point lead for the Seawolves, 12.7 seconds left. Seawolves hold on, they advance. 
Northwest Nazarene awaits tomorrow, 5.15 p.m. Foul called on the Saints, Nielsen Skinner. Gilbert with 16 steps to the line with his team up five. Tyson Gilbert, a senior out of Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Free throw good. Back to a six point lead. Gilbert's second free throw. Good. <laughs> Harrington back in for Alaska Anchorage. Saints down seven. Final 10 seconds of their season. Greeley for three. Short. Or not. Nothing but Ned. Looked like he was going to skim the front rim. Might have skimmed the inside of the front rim. 80-76. Four-point lead for Anchorage. Three seconds remaining. Gilbert going back to the line. Well, a couple free throws here. We'll all but put it away. Last Anchorage poised to be our first upset of the tournament. And the number six seed at that. Always fun to see the six seed shake things up. If he misses this, Saints have to try to force contact on a three-point heave. And that makes it five points. Nearly solidifying this one for Alaska Anchorage. Jaden Nielsen Skinner will dribble out the final 2.9 seconds. The Alaska Anchorage Seawolves advance with the upset of St. Martin's. The six beats the three, 81-76. This is a fun game. We saw both teams jump out to some solid leads, a lot of back and forth, and no one gave up in this one. It was interesting right down to the end. We see a GNAC career high from Jerron Williams, 23 points, one of three players for the Seawolves to score 15 or more. On the other side for SMU, they spread things out offensively a little bit more. They get nine or more points out of five of their guys, including 23 points, out of Greeley to go along with four rebounds, two assists, and 55% shooting from the field for the Saints just wasn't enough. It's not often that you're gonna lose a game shooting that efficiently from the field, but Alaska Anchorage just had such a great game overall in this one. Alaska Anchorage, they move on. They play Northwest Nazarene tomorrow, Friday at 515, right back here on GNAC.TV. St. Martin's, not the season ending they wanted after the huge success they had all season, and especially last season this time, winning not only the GNAC regular season, but the GNAC tournament. Yeah, they've seen so much success over these last few years. Uh, especially coming in with this number three seed, they look like a really strong team, a contender for the GNAC championship title. Uh, but a, sh a shocking way to go out here on day one. But it's always fun to have those, right? You get those surprises early on, seeing a number six seed try and make a move. And Alaska Anchorage does exactly that here today. Be very interested to see how they handle the two seed Northwest Nazarene come tomorrow. Three down, one to go. Come on back, right around 7.30 Pacific. Four, Seattle Pacific and host Central Washington. For Dustin Daniel, I'm Sean Wally. Alaska Anchorage moves on an 81-76 win over St. Martins. Thank you for tuning in from Ellensburg, Nicholson Arena on GDAC.TV.